In today's Swift tutorial, we're gonna talk about a couple different ways on how to use random and shuffle that was introduced in Swift 4.2. So here in my playground, I just have an empty array called random numbers. So the first thing we're gonna do is fill that array. So to do that, we're gonna use a for loop here. So we'll go for underscore uh, in zero dot 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 19. That creates a closed range. So basically this is gonna run zero to 19. So 20 times, we're gonna fill our array with 20 numbers. So let random int equal, and this is how you create the random integer, again, new in Swift 4.2. So int dot random, and then you pass in, you can pass in a range or a closed range. We're gonna use a closed range. We want a random number one through 100. So again, the closed range is one dot 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 uh, 100. So now we have our random int, and now we need to append that to our array. So random numbers dot append, here we go, random uh, int. So now we're gonna append 20 random integers uh, into that array, one through 100. So let's print that out real quick. Uh, random numbers and see what we get in the console down here. So run it and I'll make this a little bigger here. So you can see here's 20 integers, random one through 100 uh, into an array. So that was just getting a random number, but we're gonna talk about using it on bools, floats, how to get a random element from an array, and then we'll get into shuffle. So let's minimize this a little bit. So again, the, the random can be used, let, let's do a bool real quick. So let uh, is heads, like if you were flipping a coin, a random bool, you can just do equals bool dot random. Pretty simple there. If we run it uh, here in the console on the right, you'll see my random bool here was true. We'll run it again, maybe we'll get a false. Uh, no, we don't, we got a true. But anyway, it's a random Boolean. Uh, and again, you can do the same thing uh, with uh, floats and doubles if you wanted to get like a, per a random percentage. Let random double equal, same thing, double dot random. And then again, you pass in a range. Now this range you can do zero dot 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 one. So this is gonna give you between zero and one. So 0% and 100%. And it'll still give you a decimal number. And this also illustrates the kind of accuracy of a double and a float. You can see the large amount of uh, decimals I get. And if I just did a random float here, let random float equal float dot random. And again, zero dot 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 one run it again, and you'll see the uh, smaller decimal numbers. So that illustrates the difference between float and a double. Now let's talk about getting a random element in an array, right? We have our random numbers array that you see printed out down there. So let's get a random element from there. So again, this is relatively simple. Let random element equal, and now we're gonna, we're gonna pull from our random numbers array up here on line three. So random numbers dot random element. Now the key thing here is, you can see it returns uh, optional, right? Because Random numbers could be empty, right? So there may not be a random element. So be careful with this, that this does return an optional. So because this is an optional, we should do something like, uh, you know, if let random element equals that, and then we can do print random uh, element. So now when we run it, we should get a random number down here. So we pulled out 32. Let's double check to make sure 32 is in our array. Yes, here it is right here, 32 is there. That's the random element we pulled out using random element. Big remember, it does pull out an optional. So if your array is empty, it's gonna be nil. All right, let's move on to the shuffled here. So we have our, our random numbers here and they're kind of scattered. So let's sort random numbers real quick. So random numbers dot sort. Uh, this is gonna sort the collection in place. So we just sort the random numbers. And then now uh, let's print that out real quick to make sure they are sorted. So print random numbers. And let's get rid of this print random numbers at the top just so we don't get uh, extra print statements we don't need. We'll actually come out, coming out random element as well here. So here you see the array is sorted. 6, 7, 10, 12, 14, 14, 16, 16, right? It, it is sorted. So now we want to reshuffle that. So if I do uh, random numbers dot shuffle, now there's two options here. Uh, shuffle, uh, not shuffled, is going to shuffle the collection in place. So that's going to keep the same array, but just shuffle it in place. However, if you wanted to create a new object, so you have your sorted array and your shuffled array separately, that's when you would use shuffled and create a new variable and put that value into it. So uh, right now we're just going to do use the shuffle. So now if I print random numbers down here, uh, you should see it shuffled again. So when we run it, you're going to see a sorted array, 21, 24, 26, 27, yep, that's sorted. And then the second one we print out is back to being mixed up again. So that was a quick lesson showing you a couple different ways to use random and shuffle. If you enjoyed my teaching style, I started creating my own courses. You can go to seanallen.teachable.com to check those out. All right, we'll see you in the next video.